Well, folks, the financial report is in from Famitsu for Japan. Uh, we have top 10 software sales. We also have the hardware sales, which include, obviously, the week two sales. So post-launch sales of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series over there. They, they combine Series X and S numbers together into one uh, stat. And uh, there's some amazing stuff because we also obviously had the, the launch of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity last week. But it's actually not number one, surprisingly, because another Switch game is number number one, another new Switch game. So let's get into the software sales. At the number one spot is Momotaru Dentetsu Showa Heisei Ryumao Taban. Now, I have no idea what any of that stuff means. I just know that it is the number one selling game on Switch. It sold 345,697 units. Brand new game just released. Uh, just doing a brief little Google search on that game. It is one of those games. It's like a board game. Uh, but it deals with like finances and stuff. It, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like a Monopoly, but I don't know if it's quite exactly that. I don't want to sell the game short here. But it's extremely popular. Uh, it, it's like a Japan-only IP. Uh, so there you go. Uh, it is doing very, very well on Switch. Uh, number two, then, is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And its debut numbers are 173,215 units. That is a lot of units for a Warriors game at launch. Again, we already know it is the highest selling uh, Warriors game ever released. Over 3 million. We just reported on that the other day. Uh, at number 3 is Animal Crossing New Horizons. It actually saw a 14% increase to 37,290 units. That has now officially crossed 6 million units in Japan. Ring Fit Adventure is at number 4, jumping 2 spots, with a 50% increase in sales to 36,069 units, selling 1.8 million. It is getting scarily close to crossing 2 million units. I don't know why I said scarily. It's just close. Um, the uh, interesting thing here is they released a new Ring Fit Adventure bundle in Japan. Uh, so some people might be a little disappointed those sales aren't even higher, but it is what it is. Uh, at number 5, we have Fortnite The Last Laugh Bundle. That was a brand new release uh, in Japan last week. Uh, we all know about the, the Fortnite stuff happening over there. Uh, that one was 31,267 units. It's always interesting to see any sort of Fortnite thing selling in charts since it's a free-to-play game. But this was a bundle, so there you go. At number 6, which was the former number 1 from last week, is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Pretty big drop-off, 70% drop-off. Uh, did sell 109,000 units launch week, but this week it only moved 25,208. At the number 7 spot is Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Moving 24,201 units, it is at 294,000 sold. Uh, we got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe still charting in the top 10 at number 8. It jumped 7 spots with a 31% increase in sales to 13,568. That one has moved uh, almost 3.3 million. Uh, Super Mario Party is at number 9. That one jumped a lot of spots as well. It was the number 24 the week before uh, with a 179% increase in sales. Uh, 12,859 units. It has sold 1.6 million at this point. Pokemon Sword and Shield as well re-enters the top 10 uh, with 11,400 64 units uh, sold. Now, this is the expansion pass in particular. Uh, the expansion pass on its own physically, because these are just physical sales, hasn't sold extremely well. It's at only at 43,000 total. But we have to remember that the expansion pass is more than likely going to be majority purchased, uh, you know, digitally because it's DLC. And most people are going to buy their DLC digitally, but they do have a physical uh, DLC expansion pass available to purchase in Japan, and so people are buying that. I don't know if it's just a box you buy with a digital code inside. Beats me, but that is something that is on sale technically in Japan. So there you go. All right, so that is the top 10. Everything is owned by Switch except for the Call of Duty PlayStation 4 version, which also works on PlayStation 5, so I'm betting most people are buying it for PlayStation 5. Uh, let's get into the hardware sales because if you didn't, couldn't tell, with all those massive increase in sales with new releases for Switch, the Switch was going to do really well this week. It sold 179,143 units this week, increasing by almost 63,000 units over the prior week where it sold 116,267. Uh, this actually puts it a little bit off of last year's pace where it sold 179,992, but obviously we had Pokemon last year, so uh, the fact that it's able to get close to the Pokemon peak uh, is, is really, really good. 
Uh, year to day is at 4.8 million. Obviously, it's going to cross five, get to six, whatever it's going to do before the year is out. Remember, uh, Japan's big sales period is not actually November. It's actually the end of December. That's when they have their big kind of Black Friday-esque sort of sales period. Um, PlayStation 5, uh, its second week, it dropped from 118,000 to 42,891. Now, we don't know if this is due to supply constraints. We don't know what the reason is, but that is what the sales are at. It is still pretty hard to get one in Japan. Uh, so I'm assuming it's supply constrained, but we don't know. Uh, the Xbox Series, which includes the X and the S, moved 3,684 units at the number three spot. Uh, that puts it up to 24,218 since launch. The PlayStation 5 is at 160,976 since launch. Obviously, neither of these numbers sound super impressive. Obviously, PlayStation 5 doing better. Um, it, it's interesting seeing how, how much supply constraint might be affecting things. Also, what's the demand right now? Because... People want to switch. Even last week, even last week when there really wasn't a new Switch release, uh, the PlayStation 5 launched at only 2,000 more units than the Nintendo Switch. So it's very interesting watching the sales in Japan, and I think it's going to be clearly Nintendo Switch dominated for quite some time. But the demand for Switch is only increasing, not decreasing, despite the fact that they have 16 million of those Switches in the country. The demand isn't going anywhere. So it's very, very interesting to see, that you, despite new platforms being out there, that it's Switch that is still really leading the way outside of launch week, which gave PlayStation 5 a very narrow edge. And if Hyrule Warriors or Momotaro Densetsu would have launched last week instead of this week, Switch would have obviously been number one. So, yeah. Switch is obviously a lot less supply constraint as well. Nintendo has a lot more units hitting the market right now than PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series does. I don't know if the Xbox Series is still having, uh, you know, uh, raffles and stuff because that's been extremely supply constrained everywhere, uh, including here in the United States. They're selling out of every unit they can make at the factories. So I'm assuming it is also supply constrained, but again, it's hard to know. I don't think we're really going to know how well PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series are doing in Japan until about summer of next year. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, PlayStation 4 is, is you know behind the Xbox Series, but again, PlayStation 4 isn't as relevant anymore now that PlayStation 5 is out in Japan. So, yep, there you go. That is the sales charts in Japan. Pretty crazy stuff, honestly. Um, I got to say that all of this is pretty good news. Um, especially for Nintendo. I mean, the Nintendo domination is real. Uh, the Nintendo has been dominating Japan for kind of a number of years at this point. And just looking at like the, you know, the, like the annual weekly sales, I mean, it's just, the Switch's 2020 is just, it's skyrocketing. Uh, it's been ahead of every single year of Switch in Japan so far. There was a, a, a spike in 2019 for a little bit there. Uh, but, yeah, the Switch in 2020 is, is well on pace for its best sales year in Japan yet. Um, it, it just it, it can't be slowed down. I, I don't really know uh, what is going on. It just, it just can't be slowed down. Now, if you want to kind of glance at maybe uh, some other interesting sales numbers, you know, if you look at... Uh, the, the like the PlayStation 3 launch the PlayStation 3 launch you know had about what what is it 88,443 units in launch so the PlayStation 5 launch is ahead of the PlayStation 3 launch uh it's also um but the, the thing is the week 2 the week 2 for PlayStation 5 is behind the PlayStation 3. See, week two for PlayStation 3 in Japan sold 43,378, where it only went 42,891 with the PlayStation 5. So that's it's, it's pretty interesting to see uh, that t week one of PlayStation 5 was higher than week one of PlayStation 3, but week two is behind. Um, for, as for the Xbox Series versus the Xbox One, now I don't know why in these comparison charts we're not seeing accurate data for PlayStation 4, because I would love to compare PlayStation 4 data, so I apologize that I can't. Uh, but for Xbox Series versus Xbox One in Japan, uh, it's really interesting. So Xbox One for week one, uh, Famitsu has it listed as selling 23,562, whereas they have it listed as 20,534 for week one. So Xbox One had a better debut. But in week two, Xbox One dropped off to 3,574, whereas in week two for Xbox Series, it's at 3,684. Now, week three is where we're really going to see what's going on with the Xbox, I suppose, because in week three for Xbox One, it dropped off to 1,536. Uh, if Xbox Series can hold at 3,000 or so, that could potentially mean they're just selling out of everything they have. Um, and yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to see what happens. 
Uh, we don't really know what's going on. Right now, obviously, the data for PlayStation 5 does not look fantastic when we're looking at it falling behind PlayStation 3 levels. Um, PlayStation 4 was very popular in Japan. So to see that we're comparing PlayStation 5's launch to PlayStation 3, I don't know, man. Something just isn't quite right um, with PlayStation 5 in Japan. But again, it... it PlayStation 5, no matter how amazing it might be, and I don't own one yet, but when I can get my hands on one, I'm sure I'm going to think it's amazing as well. It's very, very interesting to see how the game or the, the platform just, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's Switch. I think the Nintendo Switch is affecting PlayStation 5 sales. I think if Switch wasn't popular in Japan, the PlayStation 5 would be selling even better. But because because the Nintendo Switch is there and because of how popular it is, people don't really feel like they need another platform. I mean, Switch software in week two of PlayStation 5 is still nine of the top ten. New Switch games come out, boom, top of the charts. Like, the Nintendo Switch just can't be stopped in Japan. They might as well just rename Japan Nintendo Switch Country at this point. Anyways, folks, I am Nintendo Robo Jets from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about these sales down in the comments below, and I will catch you guys in the next video.